miss the way you make me feel And it's real And we watch the sun set over the castle on the hill Hey, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson, we're going to show you how to play Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran. And I listened to the live recording of this one, which is a bit quicker than the original recording. They're both in the same key. Neither of them use a capo, so we don't need a capo for this one. And I think the most challenging part of this song is just getting that strumming rhythm because it is a pretty quick song. It's pretty percussive. The chords are actually quite simple. And if you need extra help with those chords, we have a link down below to our free ebook. It's free to all of our subscribers and it goes over all the basic foundational stuff. Please check it out if you need any help with the chords or the strumming. And if you find that you enjoy learning with us, I'd really appreciate your support. And that can be as simple as just hitting the thumbs up below, subscribing to our channel and leaving a comment. And if you have any questions, I please encourage you to leave a comment. I get back to them myself at least a few times a week. So if you get stuck, I'll definitely try my best to help you out there. And anyways, let's get started by learning the chord shapes. So the first chord we need is the D chord. And for D, try to avoid the bottom two strings. Just get these four. Next we have D over F sharp or D slash F sharp. And for this one, I recommend leaving this finger down, using it as a pivot finger, and then we can just switch to the next chord shape that way. That kind of saves us a little motion there, you know, we're not making the chord from scratch. Next we have a G chord, just a plain old G. Then we have E minor 11, and this sounds like a scary chord, but it's actually really simple. If we take a look at our G chord, all we have to do is move one finger, and we get E minor 11. That's it, that's all there is to it. So we're on G, we take our middle finger, and we put it on the second fret of the G string, and that gives us E minor 11. Next we have A sus4, and if we're on our E minor 11 chord, it's really easy. We just have to move one finger, once again, and we're not going to play the lowest string, and we get A7 sus4. So just take a minute and work your way through the chord shapes, realizing that switching from one to the next usually just requires one or two fingers to be changed. I'll go through all of them here. So we're starting on D, switch to D over F sharp, leaving that finger down, switch to G, leaving that same finger down, switch to E minor 11, only need to move one finger, and then switch to A sus4, only need to move one finger for that one too. So let's put the chords in order just like they are in the verse. There's one spot to look out for near the beginning. We're gonna play D three times. One, two, three, and then on beat four, switch to D over F sharp, and then switch to G, and then we'll do the rest of the chords four times each. So just watch out for that. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Let's just get started here. One, two, three, four, D, two, three, D over F sharp, G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, back to D, two, three, quick switch, and quick switch again, two, three, four, D minor 11, Sus the strumming pattern's actually really straightforward. It's just a little fast. And if you've watched our video where we teach you how to play Photograph, also by Ed Sheeran, it's the exact same strumming pattern. So there's a chance you might already know it. It's really simple. It goes like this. So see, that's all downstrokes. Now what makes it special is that we're accenting certain beats. And 
I find that just feeling that main pulse, you know, feeling where those accents are, is the first step to getting a strumming pattern like this. And I'll just count it here and then I'll snap the pulse. One, two, three, four. 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 So slowing that down, we have one on beat one, and then on the and right after beat two, and on beat four, like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if you find you're having trouble with this strumming pattern, I recommend just taking it all the way back to just counting like I am, just one, two, three, four, over and over again, and trying to snap or clap that pulse. That's probably the most important thing. And once you have it, it's really easy to apply it to the guitar. All we need to do is play down strokes. That's nothing special if we just play down strokes like this, but if we add that pulse, two, three, one, strumming pattern and obviously we have to speed it up but don't speed it up until you can do it perfect slowly and one last thing we can do to make it sound just like the recording is to palm mute it during the verse the pre-chorus and the bridge and to do that all we have to do is just get our palm just a little over the edge of the strings we don't want to overlap too much if we overlap too much we just kill the strings too little and we're not doing anything so we just want a little bit and you hear how it's just now I'll play the D chord with the strumming pattern. So if you need to, just work on that a bit. Try it on each of the chords in this song. You know, go through each chord, the D over F sharp, G. Just do it a whole bunch on each chord. And by the time you've gone through that, you'll definitely have worked on the strumming pattern quite a bit, and you'll be ready to play along with us. So let's try this whole thing. We're gonna play the verse with the strumming pattern now, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So the pre-chorus uses the same chords in a different order and the same strumming pattern. So we pretty much know everything we need to know for this. The order of the chords is pretty straightforward. We just play G, then A sus4, D, back to G. We do that all again, and then we play G, strum A once, and that's it. So let's try it with the strumming pattern now. Since it's so simple and we already know all the parts, I think we're just ready to go ahead and do it. One, two, three, four. So the chorus is the exact same thing as the verse, except we're gonna change the strumming in two ways. First, we're no longer palm muting. So we don't have to palm mute anymore. We can strum a bit harder, we can move our arm more and get more into it to make the chorus sound a bit bigger. And then we're gonna make one tiny change to the strumming pattern. We're gonna add an upstroke at the very end of it. One. So at the very end there, on that last downstroke, I just did an up as well. When you do it slowly, one and two and three and four e and up. So just 
get used to that, adding that upstroke at the very end of it and looping it a few times. We're going to make one change to the chords, and that is on the very first chord on D, as we're doing our strumming pattern, we'll go one and two, and then here we're going to put our fourth finger, or our pinky, on the third fret there. That makes a D sus four chord. Then we go one, two, three, and then we switch to D over F sharp. So counting that out, it's one and two and three and four and. So we're just changing the chords at the same place that we're doing the accents on the strumming pattern. So if you have the accents right in your strumming pattern, like we're just changing a chord every accent. And that's probably going to be the toughest part in this whole song, so just take a moment and work on it if you need to, and then we're ready to play the chorus together. One, two, three, four. The bridge is really straightforward, uses the same strumming pattern as the verse, so just palm muting. You can add the upstrokes if you like. I, I feel like at the halfway point of this song, I just start doing the upstrokes a lot more, even though I'll still go between palm muting, the verse, pre-chorus, and bridge, and leaving it open for the chorus. Once I reach the first chorus or so, it's nice to just keep that upstroke thing going, just to add a bit of rhythm, a bit of jump to the song. Anyways, bridge is really straightforward. The chords, same ones we've been using this whole time, and simple strumming pattern, so let's just try it together right now. One, two, three, four. pretty much it. There's just a couple finishing touches that we need to do. Um, on the last chorus, we started out palm muted, just like the verse, and that gives us like a nice quiet chorus. We do it one time like that, and then we bring the rhythm right back in, and we do the chorus again, but a lot louder, and we're not palm muting anymore. And then the song ends with just one strum on each chord, just So that's how you play Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson, and once again, if you need any extra help with this, please leave a comment below. Be sure to check out our free ebook, there's a link in the description. That'll help you out with the chords, the strumming, you know, all the fundamentals of rhythm guitar, so check that out. Otherwise, once you've learned everything you can from this lesson, I encourage you to go check out the original recording, and at first just play it with downstrokes, you know, just count if you have to, three, four, downstrokes only, and once you get used to it, once you get used to changing the chords at that pace, you can add the strumming pattern. I find it's a really good approach to kind of separate it into the chord hand and then the strumming hand. So try it with the original recording, go back to basics, just downstrokes only, that'll get you at the right tempo, get you feeling the song, build up your confidence, and other than that, I hope you have a fun time practicing this tune, and we'll see you next time.